welcome back to eSim Studios. If you've been on social media today and you follow, you know, a, a tech person or two, you might have seen this new leaked commercial uh, from Google. Well, it wasn't leaked by Google. Somebody leaked it, but it was definitely a promotional video of the new Google Pixel 8 Pro. And if you don't know, many of the subscribers have uh, subscribed to the channel because of this, but many uh, first-time viewers, if you don't know, now you know, uh, this is the official, unofficial home of hashtag Team Pixel. Uh, if you don't know, obviously you don't, right? Um, we have, we are a Pixel family. I'm recording on my S23 Ultra. However, my wife has a Pixel, my daughter has a Pixel, and I just, and they, they just got them today. I just got my parents to get the new 7A, Pixel 7A, and my grandpa to get the new Pixel 7A. Um, those just came in today. I'm gonna meet up with them this weekend to set it up. Anyways, unofficial, or official unofficial home of the Google Pixel. So, team, hashtag Team Pixel. Uh, let's get back to this promo leak. So, Google has made a promotional video of the unreleased, soon to be expected, new Google Pixel 8 Pro. I'm gonna put the video right up here, the promotional video, and I'll describe it. So what, excuse me, so what they, what they are demonstrating is if you look on the back of the Pixel, check this out. So the Pixel 8 Pro is gonna be a little similar to this, except there's gonna be no separation here. Sorry, probably in the video. Now, look at this sensor. You see there's only down, that's a flash, right? Um, but there's only one. On this new Google Pixel 8 Pro, it has two of these. Now, obviously one's gonna be a flash for nighttime photos and light. But the other one was a sensor of some sort. My wife and I were discussing this last week. I wonder what that other flash, what that other flash is for. Is it gonna have a super duper bright flash? No. What came out today is, now I'm sure this is a multi-use sensor, but it's really cool. I've never seen this on a smartphone before, or ever really, um, on other than a thermometer. It's a thermometer. Um, the lady that's in the video, uh, show, demonstrates how you can hold the phone to your forehead and then slowly uh, rotate it over to your side of, a te uh, of your temple and then it'll take an accurate temperature reading, uh, body temperature reading, um, which is really, really cool. And that explains, at least part of it, what that other sensor on the back of the device was for. Um, I was going to get the Pixel 7a, review it, this and that, but to be honest with you, I'm gonna hold out on the 7a. Um, it's basically the 7, the Google Pixel 7. Um, and we are for sure going to upgrade my wife and I to the Pixel 8 Pro. Um, now, for those of y'all that don't know, this is the last year for the A series device. Uh, Google is going to make some changes, not to how the pixels look, but just uh, they're going to change. They're going to keep the same form moving forward for the next few years, and I love it. I mean, it's a home run. I love this phone. For y'all that don't know, I absolutely love this phone. It's the best phone I've ever had. I'm just using my Galaxy a lot because it's better for work. It has an S Pen. I edit videos. I can do that all in here. It's just with the S Pen, it's easier. So I use that, my S23, um, anyways, back and forth. But um, the Pixel 7 Pro, best phone I've ever had, and I'm expecting this 8 Pro to be the best ever. Now, what Google is doing, this is the last year of the A series. The A series is like, takes on the same body design language and in some and now the internals. Um, however, it's a lower cost, sort of mid-range uh, price device. What Google is gonna do moving forward, they're doing away with the A series. So what they're gonna do is they're always gonna have the Pro series, their bigger device, the, the, the big device like I got, and they're gonna have a smaller device. However, it looks like they are going to have a small, uh, uh, now for y'all that don't know, the 7 compared to the 7 Pro, the 7 has 
uh, a little watered down specs. Um, but Google is going to make a smaller device with top notch specs like the Pro has. It's going to have 4K screen, it's going to have 120 hertz uh, uh, refresh rate, and it's going to have everything, right? So they're going to make a cheaper. I guess, check this out, it'll be not on this 8 series because when the 8 comes out, the 7A is still going to be their flagship uh, uh, mid range device. So you will see these changes coming on the Pixel 9 series. So the Pixel 9 will, uh, series will have a 9 Pro. They're going to have a, a, well, I guess they may change the naming too because if you have a 9 Pro, what are you going to call the smaller flagship? And what are you going to call the smaller uh, uh, mid range that's going to take place of the A series? So they're going to have a cheaper device, which is going to be small. They're going to have a Pro device, which is going to be small, Pixel 9 Pro. And then they're going to have a Pixel 9 Ultra, I guess, or uh, some sort of name. I, I'm, I'm assuming they will have a name change, but nothing's obviously been official. Now, these leaks, these leaks of the changes and what they're doing, I've seen and read all those. It is in the Android code as far as what they name their devices and some of the specs. So the changes are coming. This is the last year of the A series. Phenomenal device. It should be phone of the year considering the specs you get for the price with the hardware combined with the software. It's just phenomenal. Um, now there, there, there was a document that came out saying Google has a loyalty issue. Uh, and I'll put the chart up there as well. And I'm assuming I read it wrong because when I first glanced at it, I, I must have been I must have been looking at it wrong now that I think about it because because I was looking at it the complete opposite. I do not believe Google is going to have a loyalty program uh, a lo loyalty problem moving forward. The more people get these new pixels in hand, even if you have the 6 series, it is a huge, huge jump from the 6 Pro to the 7 Pro. Because I had the 6 Pro, my wife had the 6 Pro, my daughter had the 6. We all upgraded and all of us absolutely loved the 7 series. The 6 had its issues, I had a ton of bugs, my wife had a ton of bugs, I had bugs, my daughter not so much, but um, a couple. But we're, we are all in love with this 7 Series. If, and especially with this 7A coming out, if Google just stays with this similar design language on these devices, and the more 7 Series people get in hand, the more they are going to have similar experiences um, as we have had with ours. And they are going to be more likely to purchase a, another Pixel moving forward after this seventh gen that that they're uh, currently out right now um i encourage everyone i think in the past i was a little hesitant although it was typically my go-to uh device recommending to friends or family um uh, my sister has an iphone um but uh everybody else has android so um it was my go-to device for Although I would recommend, in the of course, in the past, you know, maybe a OnePlus device, obviously Samsung. Um, but for the non-tech people, Samsung is a little much. Like, especially for my mom, she's had a Samsung in the past. And God, there's so many options and change this and this and that. She would get almost intimidated using her phone because there were so many options to choose from. So I think um, with these Pixel, with the Pixel 7s coming out, Oh, excuse me, these uh, upcoming Pixel 8s and the 7a that it was just released, the more people, like I said, getting these in their hands, the more, that's fine, sorry, the more uh, people are going to love them. Uh, so I strongly encourage you, uh, if, you're, if you're questioning it or whatever, don't even question it. I can almost guarantee you, you're going to love it now. Obviously, not everybody, but I guarantee you the majority of y'all are going to love these Pixel devices um phenomenal phenomenal and i cannot wait for this 8 pro to come out now the one that's shown in the video is a white i do have a white i think i'm going to stay with white now they're going to have a white a black like they've always had and there's always going to be a uh 
a curveball color that they throw in. They're going to have a white, they're going to have a black, and then, I don't know, they're going to have some kind of weird color. Uh, I typically stay away from the weird colors because my wife got the weird color this year. That's the only thing, the only thing she doesn't like about her phone. When it came out, she loved it. But now, she wishes she had my white phone. So, I'll probably just get the white. It looks badass. Um, the Tensor chip has been phenomenal. No issues there whatsoever. With every year that they develop this Tensor chip, every year it's going to get better and better and better. And in the future, as Google starts designing not only the hardware and the software and molding them together, it should be... Um, um, it should be molded together and come together basically like Apple has done with their iPhone. Um, Apple designs the hardware, the software, the chip. Now, of course, they buy parts and stuff like that, and I think Samsung is a supplier for displays and whatever, but for the majority of the device, they have say-so on basically everything um, that goes into that phone, and this is what Google's doing with their phone, and they're only in, what, the the um, second or third gen coming up of this and every year it just gets better and better and better so congratulations google hashtag team pixel i'll see y'all next time peace